Okay, draft and does it make that much of a difference? That to find out. Now this is um, a 100k ride we did today. We're about halfway through it at the minute. Tim's just about to take over from Alf. Alf will drop on the back. And now watch my watts as I'm behind Tim here. He's leading out. This is a pretty, this is a, a good stretch, a 2.5k stretch this is. Uh, it's the Hornybrook Bridge um, at Redcliffe. Um, so really, we're going a bit too quick for, for this bridge. But it was pretty quiet today, so we thought we'd, um, we'd put it in a bit. But it is a strong headwind. We've got quite a strong headwind. And you'll see in a minute when I pull out. Um, Tim holds it all the way, but when I pull out, you'll see my watts go through the roof. Um, and this is the difference now at the minute look you see i'm hovering around about the 180 to 200 watts so at 98 cadence and um, 36 38 k's an hour and i'm just basically ticking over this is pretty easy to sit here now so this is the difference between drafting the other thing you got to remember with drafting is you need to trust whoever's in front of you because they they're the ones that have to um, look at those guys, I'm going past them like they stood still. Um, you have to trust the guys in front of you to point out any problems on the path ahead and any cyclists or runners that are up front or any, any obstacles at all. Yeah, so you need to be trusting them because look, I'm right close on his wheel um, and the closer you are, obviously the better draft you're going to get. So, and then you can either go left or right if you've got a side um, win, but at the minute it was a head on so Tim, Tim here, he, he's taking the full brunt back I'll pull out to the side um, in a sec here we go, now look at the watts gone from 200 to three, 350 and it'll stay up there there we go so that's the difference with drafting when you're right behind someone that's the difference in amount of power so the the energy that I'm saving sitting behind him is huge. So I'll pull back in in a minute. There you go. And watch it come back down. So there we go. Back down to that more comfortable, easy to 200 watts average that you can comfortably hold and you're still bombing along at the same speed. And don't forget, when I pulled out, I wasn't going any faster, but I was having to just exert much, much more power to keep up with it. So that is the big lesson and learn how to do it where it's safe and you need to be able to trust the guys you're out riding. I've been riding with these guys for a long time now and um, we're all pretty sensible on the bike. If there's any major dramas we'll slow it right down. Um, this was a, a good little run this one and Timbo did well. We kept it going well there <laughs> into, into a strong headwind so um, we let him bear the brunt of that one. There you go, drafting. So any questions or comments, post them down below.